It is very windy today and the EMV200 has got two empty battery boxes that we need to bring to Zwaag, where Eko Aku is. And we're gonna take uh, about 40 kilowatt hours of batteries back with us uh, because I used all of our remaining battery stock on this project. Uh, and that's a good range test. Well, it's probably less than the range of the uh, bus, but in this weather, this will be a pretty good, like worst case scenario. It's almost all highway and it's, um, it's a pretty long way. It's about 250 kilometers in total. So uh, yeah, let's go. And the bus it is fully charged. Uh, I just did a firmware update. Ah, uh, it's gonna take a few seconds. Yeah, there we go. 408 uh, kilometers remaining. I uh, you can see there on the number A odometer, it says 0.7 kilometers. Yesterday evening there was a, a customer that I wanted to show the EMV 200. So um, <clears throat> yeah, it's not completely perfectly full, but uh, this should be good for uh, for this trip. Oh, and for those uh, keeping track of the time, I just had to show a friend uh, the van, so I wasted about half an hour. Uh, I'm also not going to drive slowly at all. I think I'm gonna try to stay at uh, 100 kilometers an hour which I think is legal for this uh, van. I think it can just go the maximum speed and um, wherever I can. So there are a couple of 80 kilometers an hour roads that I won't be able to do that. But uh, yeah, basically just uh, max speed uh, all the way to see what the worst case uh, consumption is on the highways, lots of wind, high speed, etc. Wow, these little errands really add up. Uh, just had to uh, go home uh, to get some stuff uh, among which my 64 gig uh, capture card for the camera anyway time to go on the highway <laughs> finally all right so we are here at Ikaraku e there we go and um, this is so weird <laughs> it is this uh, this van is really thirsty. Uh, almost 25 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. It's about twice uh, what I do in my Leaf. Uh, but uh, I've driven 125 kilometers and it's still got 216 left. Uh, also, the bars in the GOM uh, are misbehaving slightly, so I'm gonna fix that soon. But first, let's uh, load up some batteries. That is sitting very low. Well, I tried to fix it, but uh, uh, that didn't work. Uh, also, I don't really have time anymore. I got to go back to Delft. So. But I have somewhat fixed Leaf Spy. It is now showing something that resembles a reasonable capacity. Uh, still not quite what it is, but uh, yeah, the capacity display still something to work on. And we're back with not a lot of range left and we've driven 227 kilometers and there's about 70 kilometers left. So the average consumption uh, on the entire way was about 23 kilowatt hours per uh, 100 kilometers, 
which means that uh, as you can see the GAN is is going up slightly um, this uh, this last little, these last few kilometers obviously were in slower traffic with um, actually a little bit of a tailwind while most of the highway driving was with a very strong uh, like 6 bow 4 uh, headwind it was uh, this EMV 200 is not built to go on the highway driving 100 kilometers an hour with that much wind. Uh, it was jerking back and forth quite a bit even though it's fully loaded. So I don't recommend this, <laughs> but uh, this is a great like worst case scenario. Uh, it seems like the EMV 200 will do just shy of 300 kilometers in worst case situation. So it's fully loaded now uh, on the way back. I've had uh, a little bit of tailwind here and there, but mostly side and strong headwinds. Uh, lots and lots of rain on the way to Svach. And uh, it was dry on the way back, but I had more of a headwind. So, yeah, it seems like the actual usable capacity is quite high. Uh, it's more like 64, 65 kilowatt hours. But in these conditions, with this consumption, uh, you're you're only gonna get about like safely. I wouldn't go beyond 275 kilometers with this uh, uh, this kind of usage. But uh, this is the worst case. I'm officially saying it's about 290 kilometers worst case range, and we're gonna uh, try for a more reasonable range in uh, like actual conditions that you would use this van in uh, at a later point. Tomorrow we will be doing a second run for batteries. Actually, the EV Europe is uh, closed now, so um, uh, I cannot ask uh, them to get the batteries out of the van. So I'm gonna just charge it overnight uh, right here. And tomorrow we'll be uh, trying for a second run, getting more batteries, and uh, trying fast charging, because I haven't tried that yet. Oh, and as a last thing, uh, I almost forgot, it does sit low, but uh, during the en entire journey, including uh, this road here, which is very bumpy and kind of bad, uh, I haven't felt the bump stops at all. Uh, it seems to work just fine. The, the springs are really stiff. Uh, also keep in mind that we are not actually overloading it. <laughs> this is still uh, about 75 kilograms under the maximum load. Um, we took out a couple of batteries just to be sure, but I think the next time uh, we'll be able to uh, haul about a 400 kilogram load, so doing the full uh, 790 something kilogram allowed uh, loading capacity. Uh, also on the road it's pretty okay, although it, like the wind was skewing everything, so I uh, can't say it was a very fun ride. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed. And I'll 